and you look at this beautiful view the whole place is to myself no wonder why somebody on trip advisor forum suggested that uh, I get off the bus at Ben Balam station to enjoy this beautiful uh, view over here and I am gonna walk all the way hike I should say all the way to that place that I'm gonna put it in the description because I don't know how to pronounce it but it's a beautiful hike here Greetings from the beautiful town of Ramsau in Bavaria, Germany. What you see in front of you is a famous church in this village. It's called Saint Sebastian Church. So I'm gonna go for a walk now in this beautiful village and explore and explore it. It's pretty a uh, small uh, village. The population is about 1,800 people as, it, as you can see it's not uh, really that crowded and there is a beautiful hike that I will do after I explore the church the hike is about an hour to get you to a beautiful uh, beautiful lake called Hintersee and that is where I am going to spend most of my time today. I have a full day allocated for this uh, beautiful uh, village, Ramsau. And don't get it mixed up with Ramsau town in Austria. This is in actually in Germany. So Ramsau village is in Germ Germany, located north of uh, first Perkis Garden National Park and if you uh, look it up online you will see this uh, church pop up first on Google search results and most likely you've seen it on Google images if you have uh, done uh, research on this uh, region Bavaria and the hike that I am talking about it goes along a beautiful river and along the mountain all the way to a beautiful lake and I will share that in this uh, video but first I need to walk a little bit up ahead to see the main entrance of the church there seems to be an event going on right now in the church It's open. Let's, uh, let's let's take a quick look. There is a stairs here that takes you all the way up. I'm really curious what uh, what's up there. Oh, okay you to the upper level of the church over here. Okay, I just got out from the church and this bus that you see is bus number 846 and if you're taking uh, public transportation most likely you're gonna take that bus to get here and the bus is free 
if you have uh, a guest card that you get from your hotel if you book a hotel in this region they give you that guest card and that gives you access to all public transportations here I would say bus surfaces not not the trains and um, and if you are driving if you have a car this village might be a good uh, a good base for you as opposed to Turkish Garden Town because if you have a car you will have more flexibility to move around and this village is very very quiet village but if you do use public transportation I would suggest you base yourself in Perkisgaden town and I'm saying that in part because Perkisgaden is the uh, the hub the, for the buses so most likely anywhere you go around this area it, all buses go to Perkisgaden and leave from Perkisgaden so you will have no problem at all using uh, a bus if you stay in Perkis Garden and the bus station over here this particular spot where you get where you get a nice view of the church that you see on the internet that is exactly the bus stop it's called Ramsau Kirche which means Ramsau Church over there this is the bus stop that for buses coming from Berkes Garden and this one on this side is the one if you go to Berkes Garden and now the hike to Hintersee takes about an hour and it goes this way so here we go this is the, this is where I'm trying to go to Hintersee and you walk you cross over this river this uh, bridge but keep in mind that it's uh, this side if you're walking be careful don't fall because it doesn't have protection on this side there is only one way this side so if you're taking uh, pictures of this uh, beautiful church just make sure you don't walk you don't walk further behind because you might fall there is nothing that will protect you from falling so now let's uh, let's start the hike I'm gonna take a lot of photos on this particular spot I will take a break here as well and I will continue my hike to Hintersee so let's let's do it now and there is no shortage of small beautiful hotels in this uh, village in case you want to stay here but you may not find them on the uh, booking uh, online so most of the hotels you might find you might do more research and probably call them directly to make a booking because they don't deal with the major uh, booking sites such as booking.com hotels.com and all that kind of stuff so you might need to uh, to call them directly to uh, to make a reservation and now I am actually walking through a residential area and the walk is really really beautiful because I will be walking through the beautiful uh, beautiful scenery up ahead and also I will be enjoying these beautiful homes along the way and I'm trying to film as much as I can before before the rain starts because it's gonna be heavy rain later and here is the uh, here is the church over there it will rain later
And if you're visiting this uh, beautiful town in the summer, just to let you know, it gets really hot in the summer. And most, uh, okay. most hotels do not have uh, air conditioning. So I am visiting this area now, not in the summer, I'm visiting it in the in the fall and the weather is so nice it's not really that cold and it's not hot either but I still need to wear a jacket the temperature is I would say in mid uh, 50s to low 50s far night but uh, the only problem that is annoying me is the rain because when it starts raining I have a hard time filming because when the rain hits the camera lens it ruins the uh, image it ruins the image because the viewers will be watching water drops water drops on the screen and that's what I am trying to prevent what a beautiful area it really is and there are bench benches along the way over here so basically I'm gonna be walking along the creek I'm not sure if this is a river or a creek I'm not sure what they call it, it looks to me it's a river and it's always full of water because of the rain the heavy amount of rain that we get right here And the good thing about hiking in Bavaria is that the signs are very clear and this is where I'm trying to get to, Hintersee. Unlike the, uh, the hiking trails in Iceland and uh, in Greenland, I did a lot of uh, hikes in, uh, in Greenland. So if you enjoy nature, you might need to check uh, if you are interested, check out my uh, adventure in Greenland and I was hiking in remote areas by myself along the, uh, the biggest uh, icebergs in the world after Antarctica so as you can, you already know that the biggest icebergs in the world are located in Antar Antarctica and the second place is Ilulisat, a town called Ilulisat in Greenland above the Arctic Circle and that's the only town that offers access to, uh, to, the, to the icebergs and that's exactly what I was and I did the hike there so you can check out that video if you are interested in uh, watching different kind of scenery from the one that you are watching now while here in Austria and Germany when you visit the national parks around this region you will notice that everything is green everything is green, the mountains and everything because of the rain we get a lot of rain around this time So I am walking through this uh, big uh, forest over here. What a beautiful... Uh, I have to stop walking when I am filming this area because it's low light situation and my camera does not do well in low light because the sun... because all these trees are blocking the sun and there is no enough light coming into my uh, lens so I'm trying to prevent uh, shaking but uh, look at it, it's really really beautiful so pretty much uh, I will go through this area for about 45 minutes through this forest until I reach the uh, the river, Hintersee River and then uh, I will start filming from there so stick, uh, stick with me in this video we, uh, 
definitely we will enjoy uh, really beautiful scenery up there there seems to be a cafe over here but I'm not quite sure if it's uh, open or not this will be a nice stop for, for breakfast if it's really open but it looks like it's uh, it's closed really really beautiful uh, beautiful place to walk over here I'm wondering why it's uh, it's closed but anyway you can google it and see and see if uh, why it's closed probably in the future will uh, they will open it so you can uh, you can get a sense of what this place is like so if you're doing this hike so you know what to do next time if it's open you just uh, stop by here and uh, and eat breakfast or lunch wow is it that something it's really uh, it's really huge Alright, I just got out of the forest part and now I ended in this uh, street so I'm gonna make a left over here to find my way to uh, Hintersea it's about 30 minutes from where I'm walking now it goes this way, you just cross over the street And pretty much the uh, the signs are very very uh, clear you won't get uh, lost as you can see over here it says hinter C this uh, this direction will take about 30 minutes it looks like I'm gonna go into another forest even if it's sunny it's gonna be a little bit dark because of all these trees covering the sun, sunshine just as I am entering the forest, the second forest I see off to the right very very interesting uh, spot over here that you might like it's really really beautiful you look at the, uh, look at this is it that something? it's like a, uh, it's like a gorge yeah, I would call it a gorge um, by pointing down the camera this way it's, uh, it's really beautiful what about this side? it reminds me of the place uh, called Amin Baklam that I visited here in this region and I filmed that, uh, that visit, you can check it out and I will also visit another gorge called Vembeklam as well that I will share soon I'm wondering if these uh, cars need a special uh, permit to enter this uh, national park I don't think tourists can drive here through this uh, forest I'm not quite sure how that goes so you can do your research if you're planning to drive and here is another view over here another view of the river or a creek here I reach another cafe We'll see if it's uh, if it's also closed, cafe or a lodge. I'm not sure, but you can see the signs, and then you can look it up uh, online. And I think the cards, these cards, are for the employees or maybe the guests that are staying in this lodge. But I'm not quite sure. What it says is here is private. 
So maybe this is a uh, home, but uh, if you're planning a trip here and you have a hard time finding answers to all these questions, what I usually do is I go to uh, the forums, trip advisor forum for this particular region, Perkis Garden, and you ask questions and you will be surprised by the number of answers that you get so this is pretty much what I do when I plan my trips to any region in the world so uh, I don't read uh, I don't actually go to uh, to, to uh, tour companies websites uh, to, to, to do my research I usually do uh, read uh, the forums to see what uh, travelers like me uh, shared on those forums the information that they provide is really really helpful and useful so now this is the third forest now that I'm walking through and you look at how tall these uh, trees are you know if you love uh, tall high uh, tall trees like this you might uh, check out the Yosemite National Park in the United States in California the northern section of California they have a national park like this full of uh, uh, forests trees and all that kind of stuff so I am in an area called Zalberwald over here this is what's called I'm trying to pronounce it in German way they, they, they pronounce it I guess Zauberwald maybe I'm wrong the W they pronounce here they pronounce it here V V as in Victor maybe I'm wrong but uh, I think I'm close enough to that correct pro pronunciation and you just follow the sign enter C uh, lake is straight up there and I see another uh, beautiful house up there Zober Belt Wow, it's really really beautiful They look Isn't that something? It really is So I will uh, continue my journey to Hentersee, Lake Hentersee. I'm reading notes from my iPhone, the notes that I gathered before I visited this uh, village. I went to TripAdvisor forum and I read some posts to see what people are saying about this village and what places I need to check, check out and uh, and all that kind of stuff so I highly recommend you consider TripAdvisor forum as your first uh, source of information when it comes to planning a trip and the reason I'm saying that because when you ask on TripAdvisor forum keep in mind the people who answer your questions are travelers like me who do not re expect anything in return from you so in other words they're not selling tours they're not selling guides they're not selling anything so they provide information for free without any expectation from you they don't expect you to buy anything just make sure that you go to the forum section not the tour section let's see what uh, let's see what this place is is all about now I have walked through a bunch of uh, lodges and homes
really really beautiful this video will be uh, really long very long there is another beautiful bridge over here with a beautiful view and the hike to Intersea is only 15 minutes from where I am located now and here is the view Just keep an eye on the signs so you don't get lost. Because I'm sure when you uh, when you are in this area and you're surrounded by uh, beautiful scenery, you may miss the signs and you may get lost. So just uh, keep an eye on where you're going. You don't want to get lost in this uh, big forest. And your phone may not have a good reception here if something happens to you and you get lost here sure what that is but I will let you see it I would assume this is the name of the place the name of the spot that I am at right now Wow it's uh, it's really really beautiful it's a really beautiful hike here so I've been uh, into this hike for about uh, an hour now and I just uh, hike along this uh, beautiful scenery so I highly recommend it if you are uh, visiting Ramsau village I highly recommend this hike from Ramsau where I started uh, filming in that church all the way to Hintersee Lake Hintersee I'm not there yet so the hike is not over so I will continue but I highly recommend you do this hike if you are in this uh, region you will not regret it trust me it's really really beautiful beautiful uh, place to uh, to explore and I am sure uh, the scenery will get better and better as I keep uh, hiking up there I am uh, approaching the lake now I think I think the lake will be up ahead what a beautiful hike and then from the lake I have uh, to continue to another valley beautiful valley I'm not sure what they call it but it's gonna be a beautiful valley to visit and where is Hintersea? See, this is where I am trying to get there over here. And it takes about two and a half hours. But I'm sure there is a, a way to get there by a bus, if I'm not uh, mistaken. But uh, let's see what this area is like I will continue to go to the main lake I think I'm not 
quite there yet. So Hintersea Lake is this way and there is a gift shop there, souvenir shop. So let's find my way over to, to the lake. See the lake is up there. And if you're driving, that would be the parking lot. The parking lot where you park. And if you are uh, taking a bus, this will be the bus stop. Every time you see H sign, that means a bus stop. But I need to see what bus number is. This is bus number 846. So uh, this is how it works. If you don't want to do this hike like what I did now from the church to Hintersea, you can take bus 846 and it will drop you here. And if you're driving, you can do the same thing. You can just uh, park there as opposed to parking next to the church that you saw in the beginning of this uh, video. And now I'm going to walk along this uh, lake to go to the main one. I would say the, uh, the, uh, the viewing platform of the lake will be up there. So if you're watching this video now and you have a plan to trip uh, to uh, to have a trip down here you know what to do now as far as uh, planning your uh, transportation methods and all that kind of stuff and hiking stuff so I'm still trying to find my way over here but the view right here is uh, beyond uh, beyond description it's uh, really uh, really beautiful gorgeous and I was expecting uh, rain but it turned out that it's not gonna actually rain it's uh, it's quite sunny now which is really really good news because the weather forecast shows that it's gonna rain soon but anyway, uh, be prepared when you are in this region in the fall or even in the spring because uh, it rains a lot here in this uh, region. I found my way over here to this beautiful spot where I can see a big view of the, of the lake right here. And I'm trying to find a place to eat before I continue my hike. What a beautiful, uh, what a beautiful view. This is Lake Hintersea. And if you've been watching my videos for quite a while, you will know that I visited many, many lakes, you know, in Austria in Germany, in Greenland, in Iceland, especially the ones in Greenland, they're very very interesting because the uh, the environment is totally different in Greenland. You will not see big trees like that. You will not see um, green mountains like that. You will see totally different scenery and the same thing goes for Iceland. So check out my videos of Iceland and Greenland. I've done a lot of uh, interesting um, uh, hikes, hikes uh, there in that uh, region. And also in Austria, I did uh, quite a lot of uh, hikes uh, there in Austria. And for now, let's, uh, let's continue the, the journey. And I see a big parking lot here and I would assume that 
parking lot is for the for the lodge up ahead seems to be a big restaurant there that will be a big opportunity a good opportunity to uh, to take a break for lunch lunch break and this is a uh, public toilet in case you want to use a toilet after this big hike I'm walking toward this restaurant up ahead somebody from uh, on the uh, trip advisor forum suggested this uh, restaurant to eat at after hiking to Hunter Sea Lake Hunter Sea and then I'm gonna continue my hike to another place but first I need to check out this place over here this is the name of the place and will be a nice uh, stop for lunch the whole area is uh, beautiful so Hinter Sea Lake was there over there I had lunch at Ozinger restaurant and then I took a bus number 847 to a stop called Bindalm and it's pretty uh, pla uh, place to, to hike and from the bus stop to get to Bindalm, Bindalm it will take probably 15 minutes and I heard that it's a beautiful valley over here and then I'm gonna walk all the way to a place called Herchpichl Her Oh boy, very very tough to pronounce it It's 25 minutes from where I am located now And that bus 847 is not included in the guest card that you get from your hotel So you're gonna have to pay cash for it and also the uh, the restaurants in these remote areas only accept cash just make sure you bring cash with you when you visit uh, this uh, region especially those restaurants uh, in uh, in uh, those remote areas and you look at this beautiful view the whole place is to myself no wonder why somebody on trip advisor forum suggested that uh, I get off the bus at Bendalm station to enjoy this beautiful uh, view over here and I am gonna walk all the way hike I should say all the way to that place that I'm gonna put it in the description because I don't know how to pronounce it but it's a beautiful hike here and then when I get there I will find my way back uh, by a bus I will not hike back I will just take a bus to get all the way back to the hotel in Berkesgaden it's really really beautiful hike here you look at the uh, the view behind me and uh, do me a favor if you are still watching you started watching from the beginning of the video until now please let me know in the in the comment section that you're still watching because I really need to know how many people do watch my videos from start to finish so even if you don't see comments in the comment section there is nothing wrong with being the first one to comment I'm not sure if I mentioned this before or not YouTube analytics 
tells me that uh, 33% around 33% of people who click on my videos watch it from start to finish but they don't leave comments I'm, I'm really curious why they don't leave comments I would assume that if people enjoyed my videos they watched it from start to finish if do if they enjoy the video but if they don't enjoy the video I don't think they do watch the whole thing and look at the uh, what I found here there is uh, there are two cafeterias over here in case you want to to eat something along the way so uh, so if you do plan to visit this area just put this on your itinerary when you visit Ramsau village and Lake Hinter Sea so if you do watch this video you know now what to do when the time comes to planning your trip over here so yeah if you watched the video and enjoyed it just let me know in the comment section that you're still watching and enjoying the uh, this uh, scenery with me I think there is a cross over there if you find your way to the to up there there is a viewing platform but the the view it doesn't really get any better than this I'm not sure if I just keep walking I will enjoy better views and that's the things that I am the challenges that I am facing now when I film I am tempted to film the whole thing for memories so that uh, in the future I can watch my own video and see what it was like to be in this uh, beautiful uh, beautiful area see I see signs here and two ways to go I want to make sure I am in the right direction so I'm supposed to go I'm supposed to go to this place now over here and this bend down over there that's where I came from when you saw that beautiful uh, view that I went through but now this seems to be a, a nice restaurant nice area to uh, to eat at but I already had lunch back there when I show you the, the place where I ate and that meal cost me about uh, 26 euros coffee nice coffee um, still water what else uh, and uh, beef beef and potatoes boiled potatoes it's a nice uh, meal but it's a little bit expensive because usually meals in in these remote areas are not uh, are not that cheap and as I mentioned before they only take a uh, credit card oh boy I cannot stop filming this uh, this view so make sure you carry cash with you if you visit this area especially when you uh, when you use a bus number 847 to get here um, they only take cash I'm not sure if you can drive here or not because the road I did not see any cars uh, when I was on a bus to get here so you might need to double check that I reach Herzegebechel forgive me if my pronunciation is wrong and uh, basically you can you can eat here and I think there is a a lodge here or maybe only a restaurant but it's a really beautiful area to hike to 
from Van Dalen. Or you can do vice versa. You can take the bus to, to this spot and then you hike down to Van Dalen. Just gonna keep walking a little bit up ahead before I wrap up uh, this video and I really hope you you are enjoying uh, my videos of uh, Bavaria and I have many other videos of Bavaria you can check out the other videos and my videos tend to be a little bit long so when you watch my videos just make sure you watch them when you have time when you have time and when you are in the mood to watch you see there the the road keeps going so now I'm gonna take bus number 847 back to Hintersee Lake Hintersee and then switch to bus number 846 to Perkins Garden and then I'm heading back to the hotel for now have a good day and see you in my next videos <laughs>